Hey guys, it's Brandon here with Investment Joy, and I'm coming to you straight from a direct portal to hell. I'm, wait, can we redo that real quick? Let's be honest, this trailer park has been a really, really interesting situation. Uh, I started it in October of last year, 2019, and that was obviously pre-coronavirus. At that time, when I took it over, I had right about six, 90, 93 rentals, including my three laundromats. And although this was the biggest project I decided to ever take on, I figured that there was a linear relationship between the problems that I have as a normal landlord and the problems that I would have taking on a large trailer park project such as this one. And as many of you called out in the comments, um, people said that this is going to be just worse than anything I had ever experienced before. And unfortunately, a lot of our commenters have been right. Yours truly has been wrong. Now, maybe it's overblown to call this a direct portal to hell, but I kind of wonder, all right, while we're having this, I have stepped on and I've put a nail in my foot. But this is a good representation of what's going on at the trailer park. But the, the, as a project, we are so far behind on this. It's really amazing. And all the problems that I would go through under a normal um, rehab project are essentially in this trailer park times 10. That isn't to say that we're not finally making good progress on this. I've hooked up with a really great contractor. He's actually here at the park today working. We've been installing skirting on trailers. We've been renovating trailers. We've got um, utilities started to be deal dealt with. And we're finally on our ways to have some mobile home inspections done and actually get stuff tenanted, which is great. But the problems here are essentially all the problems that I've ever had on my rental properties put into one location. Th this project has been very far behind due to all sorts of things. And coronavirus certainly has not helped the situation with these trailer parks. And it ends up my $2,000 trailers are becoming greatly more expensive. Although this project is finally starting to see the light of day, we're starting to get two, three, four people every day coming here to the park looking for rentals. We still have just this mountain of problems that we're having to address at the trailer park. This is one that Kevin and I walked through back in November last year. And as you can tell over here, we're still dealing with rotten flooring. Although this one's supposed to be buttoned up by the end of this week, ready for an inspection, which might seem like there's too much in here, but this crew has been great at getting things knocked out. Taking on this project, I never would have thought that I would be threatened physically, that we would have a shootout in a trailer park I never would have thought that I would have to spend some of my evenings dealing with a lady of the evening who was very minimally dressed. And um, I imagine a consumer of the rock, or maybe she was a spoonie, but I never thought that I would have to deal with so many concentrated issues at a location. If you guys have watched Trailer Park Boys, I would get comments very regularly asking when um, you know, if I was going to hire Randy or Leahy or anybody along those lines. But to this day, I've had to deal with kids with golf clubs beating up my trailers. Literally, they've taken golf clubs, beat the side of trailers, as well as destroy plastic sheeting that was used to fix or temporarily seal up trailers in transport from where we purchased them all from a trailer park that was being bulldozed. Just the problems that I've had here have been truly amazing. But for all the crazy problems that we've had here, we're finally seeing the light of day. At least as long as I don't fall through this flooring right now, which you can see me kind of balancing on two semi-rotted, but not totally rotted joists. Financially, this park will do good for us. Um, we bought these trailers for only $2,000 a piece. We paid $3,000 to have them transported. So all in all, I, I'm hoping to have a somewhat minimal cost per trailer, but the problems have just been exponentially higher, especially when you include the problems that coronavirus has presented to us. Finding contractors has been absolutely unbelievable. In fact, I have a trailer sitting over here right now, at least the trailer frame. That was one that the sh a shooting occurred at, um, someone came by, stripped the copper out of, uh, stripped the plumbing out of. Somebody even came by and stole the crown molding from that trailer. Then in the first part of March, I contacted 
several different companies to come in, tear the trailer down and have it removed. And as you can tell, here in mid-September, the trailer's sitting over there. Now, on a good note, the contractor that's been working so well has gone, gone out and got himself a tractor to haul it off, and we're finally going to get it out on a semi-flatbed. At least that's what I'm being told now. But it's just like these compound problems just keep snowballing and snowballing and snowballing, all the while I'm having to deal with my other 93 rentals and train management. I'm now on my third manager under training, which this one will work out because they're a third party company. They're already trained and relatively easy to integrate with what I'm doing inside my business. If we were to be honest, I would have really hoped to be sitting in a bathtub full of quarters or dollar bills like Scrooge McDuck. Not one in my trailer park, but we needed another change of scenery, at least to this part of the video. But you know, my intentions or my concepts that I thought that we were going to see coming into the trailer park have been completely blown away. I didn't think that I could see worse situations dealing with rentals than I have here now. That isn't to say that these trailers aren't going to be done soon and we're going to provide nice houses for people that are also really cheap because we're still budgeting between five and six hundred dollars per trailer, which in this marketplace is an obscene deal. Um, my units that I'm listing on my website now are averaging 100 applications per rental, which is just crazy even during coronavirus. So there is such a huge need for housing in this area that needs to be fulfilled some way. And I feel terrible about the fact that these trailers aren't done yet. Now it will be nice when they're done, but it's one of those things that's taking us a year to get occupancy on these trailers which is just one of those things. Of course, it's nice to have an investor partner that understands that for the most part, but not every deal works like this. There's a lot of landlords right now going bankrupt due to coronavirus, the rent moratorium, um, especially in states that have declared that landlords can no longer charge for rent. That's not the case here specifically in Ohio. We're still allowed to go through normal eviction court, especially for drug related offenses, which is something that I'm dealing with considerably right now um, and as far as my company goes we haven't been suffering super severely although I could see that becoming a problem if this thing was to go on another year I've tried to budget my business to survive in an economy like this and believe me there is a unbelievably obscene transfer of wealth going on right now between the older generation and the younger generation so there's lots of opportunities out there uh, if you're willing to sit in dirty bathtubs so I figured I'd give you guys an update. I appreciate every single one of you that watches my YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to this video. I would truly appreciate it. Thanks for coming along on this ride, guys. What in the trailer park is going on here? What the heck? Why would anybody do this? Why would anybody do the What? What? What the heck? Why is the refrigerator in the living room? Why are the walls missing? All the walls are gone. What the heck? Why would anybody do this? Where's the dishwasher? What the heck? Why would anybody do this? Why would anybody do this? Oh. It's drugs.